enough to win this hockey game. Not enough, obviously. Uh, a little bit, I guess. Um, I felt like myself personally could have been a lot better on the power play. We had a lot of minutes there, so we got to capitalize there. But um, in saying that, I felt like you know we're so close to winning again. Just you know, we'll pull the goalie again. So I feel like you know that's happening a lot, but. Um, you know, we kind of talk in the room. We got to get used to these one-goal games. So that's all I can say about that. Personally, did you feel good with the uh, the amount of ice time, the extra ice time that you got? Yeah, I mean the lungs are there. Obviously, Shabby's out, so guys got to step up. So um, I don't know when he'll be back, but um, I'm fine with playing more. Um, whatever the team needs to win. How tough is it for the team when you know you finally get that win in Philadelphia, and now again back a one-goal game that you, that you can't close out? Yeah, I mean it's obviously frustrating, but at the same at the same time we're playing good, so it's it's tough to build off of. Um, you know we're not going to get down. Um, we know we're a good team, so we just got to stay positive right now. You really get the sense that it's a break here or a break there that could send it the other way. Yeah, you really got to bear down on your chances. Um, and, and we had lost tonight, and so did they. So um, credit to them; they're a great team over there. But you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you got to bear down on your chances. Are they the kind of team who just really make you work for everything you get just because of how they clog things up? Yeah, exactly. Um, they got a lot of chemistry over there. Um, four great centers, so um, you got to respect them and um, you just got to play smart. No dust in the puck, just pucks north. And, um, you know, they're a good team, like I said, so you got to respect them. This is one of those games that leaves you not feeling good about the result, but certainly good about what you did to try and win this game. Yeah, I thought we played well again. Um, you know, we stuck to our game. We are getting behind them. That's a good team. That's a good uh, veteran older team who uh, just knows how to play the right way for 60 minutes. And I thought we uh, did a good job of that, of matching that. But, uh, yeah, it's just one of those games where um, uh, whether it's a bad couple of bounces, that uh, third one, it's a good block by Wadi, and this ends up on the stick. So it's just, and then there's a block that uh, bounces on the ice and ends up in the net. So it's just one of those games where we didn't get the bounces, but um, now you can you know, look at our game and, and like a lot about it. So um, all lessons to learn, and, and uh, uh, but now for the most part, I thought we played a pretty steady game. A lot of strong credit go towards the uh, Islanders penalty kill tonight. I think so, yeah. They're, like I said, it's uh, they're a veteran uh, team that does it right uh, in a lot of aspects of the game. So uh, our power play, we had a lot of you know, good looks, good chances, but um, just need to find find a way to get one. And, and uh, but uh, I think we'd be a little more trouble if we weren't getting chances. But I uh, know there's chances, and, and um, yeah, just it's gonna be a matter of time before it gets open. Was the uh, the challenge just in how they clogged up kind of the, the house there on the penalty kill? Yeah, they block every shot too, so um, you know, they did a good job of eliminating options. So, um, now, of course, we're all going to look at it and, and uh, figure out a solution, but uh, still a bunch of good looks. So, um, yeah, there's going to be games where you know, some of those bounces go in, but uh, just tonight it wasn't one of them. Can you just asked what, why it was important for you and the group to be on the bench and watch Alfie's speech. I think it's a uh, you know, short support he's done so much for. Um, the city, but most importantly, this team and this organization. He's um, he's a legend here, and I think uh, you know it's important for us to you know, show our support to him and, and almost um, say thank you for everything he's done for us. And, and it's an amazing accomplishment, achievement that um, he's to celebrate with you know family and friends tonight. And it's well deserved, and, and you know just I think it's important for us to kind of say thank you to him and show our support. And the chance to talk to him like on a couple of occasions is what you come to appreciate the most about. Just the leadership, it's um, not only with you know, guys in the room, but uh, the leadership in the community as well. It's, um, well, for me, I, I look up to the impact he's made um, in this whole city, and that's something I want to do. And, and, uh, and just to see you know, his footprint, just all that, that's uh, important to me. And, and of course, just what he's done for this organization and the impact he's left, it's uh, you know, something I want to strive for. Well, can frustrations be tempered a little bit by how you played this game here tonight again just came up short yeah I think we did a lot of good things um, you know a lot of chances we play well offensively um, you know I thought we were going to come back and tie it up yeah. but uh, 
that's definitely frustrating. Are these one goal games just something this team needs to learn how to, to close out kind of thing? It's something that you've struggled with this season so far. Yeah, I mean, we talked about that maybe a week ago in uh, I still think we played pretty good in the, in the third. I mean, we we got our chances and uh, we were able to get from 3-2 uh, and, you know, uh, I don't think we played bad. I think uh, obviously we know we, we have to play better, but uh, uh, we did a lot of good things today. What more could have been done on the power play tonight, do you think? Yeah, they did a good job of having four guys in the slot and uh, getting the lanes. Um, you're a good PK, uh, but at the end of the day, you're on the ice on the power play to, uh, to have results. When things aren't going great, results-wise, can part of it be psychological, uh, just in guys' heads a bit? Yeah, I think so, but at the end of the day, you know what you have to do on the ice. You have to execute, and, uh, um, you know, we did a lot of good things. I know I'm repeating myself, but, you know, we... Uh, this is a good hockey team to the other side, and um, it's frustrating because we needed this win. Uh, we we want to be a hard team to play at home, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you have to look at the video, see uh, what we could do better. But uh, I think we can look at some the video, and we did a lot of good things too. Can you just comment on a guy like Jake Sanderson who tonight plays for 25 minutes in Shabbat's absence for a rookie to kind of show the poise that he's done so far this season? Yeah, he's been he's been great for us all year. You know, coming to camp, we didn't really know what to expect. Well, I didn't know what to expect, and um, you know, he plays a mature game. He uh, he's a very smart uh, hockey player, and he's got pretty much everything you want as in a defenseman. So, um, you know, I'm not surprised that. Uh, he's playing some good hockey right now. Do you have any elements positive that you can retain from a match like this? I think we've done a lot of things. He was pretty positive. We had one chance. It's frustrating, it's sure. But when you play at home, the record we have is like this. You need a victory. It's frustrating like this. How difficult is it when you have a defender? It's difficult to impose your look like that. Ouais, mais c'est sûr que quand tu manques euh, Chabot puis euh, Zou, euh, c'est deux joueurs qui jouent à 25, 26, 27 minutes. Puis euh, c'est sûr que ça, euh, c'est, c'est des joueurs qui font des, des, des jeux spéciaux sur, sur la glace. Ça, c'est, euh, euh, mais je pense que les gars qui ont, qui ont rentré dans, euh, dans le line-up, je pense qu'ils ont, fait, euh, qu'ils ont fait une bonne job. Peux-tu nous parler de ta séquence de la match consécutif? C'est ta deuxième <coughs> en, en carrière. Pour toi, c'est, c'est un petit blow. Ah. Oui, mais ce pas quelque chose que je me concentre dessus. Donc, un fier à la fin du match, la gaffe, tu n'as pas eu grand succès. C'est frustrant, particulièrement, de ne pas produire dans les fins de match comme ça. Euh, quand il y a le gros réel Oui. Oui, c'est sûr. Euh, c'est sûr qu'il faut qu'on ait, une, on ait peut-être deux, deux bonnes chances, mais euh, il y a beaucoup de temps qui reste. Il euh, faut juste garder la rondelle et attendre qu'il y ait un breakdown. Puis, mais euh, c'est quelque chose qu'on a travaillé dessus, puis euh, quelque chose qu'il va falloir qu'on continue à travailler de, dessus.